listen, yeah. the first nigga he beat, like I was running like four, five, four, I was fast. Mm -hmm. The nigga beat me relatively easy. What? Right top of my game. So here's the thing. <laughs> this when I knew he was fast. I was also a hustler too. I said, damn. <laughs> I knew they weren't paying us that much money to do shows. So with Caddy get on stage, after to get off stage, I say, hey, y'all know, I host, I'll be like, you know that nigga fast too. I give anybody out here who think they can beat him, we can race for any amount of money y'all want. And I swear to God, as God is my witness, at the Hop in Lakewood every Wednesday night after the comedy show, we go to the back of the parking lot and we'll line niggas up and me and Kat would race them niggas and I swear to God, we never left that comedy club with under $2,000. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Into a jewel down here. We been in a lot of different places at the same damn time, man. My guy. Squatto is in the building. In the building, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love hey, you, man. Hey, we in Meridian, Mississippi, on, man. Right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, listen, man. Yeah. And I got, I'm going to jump right into it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, um, you see a lot of the comedians that's been having issues with each other. You was the one that I talked to to calm the storm to say, man, you been in this forever? What the right, hell is going right, on? Right. Is this a new thing or has this always been present and the Cat Williams interview just blew this shit out the window? Actually, me and TK started all this gangster shit. This was crazy, right? You live right around the corner from me. I remember that. Okay, so I didn't even what, think about yeah, that. Yeah, How know, long ago was that? No, it was right before. It was right before Catnam, you know. Damn sure it was. Also, but that's what started shit. it. It was yeah. pretty much because yeah. I seen four niggas on the screen so and nobody was else. Nobody was doing this before that. They wasn't show. It was out in the open. Our beef was the first beef that went viral. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Cat was the first beef that went super. It went horrible. You know what I'm saying? But it was all on the same level. Even though me and TK squashed our beef because at the end of the day. We was two real niggas, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes it was a time when people just fight it out. Right. You know, you got to nigga catch a fade. You know, sometimes you fight out of respect and, and then you you get the situation, respect is established, you shake hand, and, and that is what it was. But mm -hmm. nowadays, you know, you can't do that. Them days are over. You right. know what I'm saying? You got to. Wow. Uh, but I wish, though, I wish that people would go back to those days of always trying to catch a fade rather than picking up a gun to try to shoot somebody. Exactly, exactly. But the problem is now, they they can't, they can't they snitch their tail. You know, you can't get knocked out then tail and snitch and, you know, fight, you know just catch a fade, win, lose, draw. It don't even matter if you lose. You won by fighting, but you mm -hmm. lose by fighting. See, back in the days, everybody won when you catch a fade. Mm -hmm. Now, everybody lose when you catch a fade mm -hmm. because now it's so much riding on it, especially if you got... You know, and that's what always fucked my brand up. I always put my mentality over my gift. You know what I mean? And when you put your mentality over your gift, it block your it block your blessings. I gotta address the fact of uh um you know you and Cat William got a long history together. Yeah, that's my guy. Um, when you seen him, I hadn't talked to you since the Shannon Sharp mm -hmm. interview. Right. Like when you seen that interview and you seen him in his element, was it something that you already knew he could take it there? Listen, the one thing I know about Cat Williams is he he don't lie. You know what I'm saying? And everything I could vouch for a lot of stuff. So everything said. was true? Yes. He 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 just have a way of saying it, you mm -hmm. know. And he didn't he he just told the truth in his style and it was truthful. Like even when they talk about he used to right. run for a point. Listen. Uh -huh. One thing, I, me and Cat was real tight friends back back in the days before me and Mike Epps, we was too we was two two peas in the pot. We was two underground, and they didn't let us in clubs because I was sagging and I was dug mm. out. No, nah, you can't wear that. Cat used to be cat in a hat. No, nah, no, nah, you can't get in like that. We'd be on the outside of clubs, and the same people wouldn't let us in. You know what I'm saying? He ended up putting on tour with him and all kind of shit. Mm. So, um, for years I used to challenge Cat, but he was always funnier. He's always smarter, and he always just had a different mindset. And he was kind of like tougher because we used to fight all the time. And Kat was the one that was always starting the fights. So mm. I was always jumping in. <laughs> Me and Kat used to fight more people at comedy clubs than we fought each other. We never fought each other. Oh, but wow. we always fought at 
Because Cat was quick tempered. Uh-huh. I never seen nobody love taking off on motherfuckers bigger than him. Cat, but can I he like, fight though? He started to fight, but can he actually fight? Man, Cat can fight. You know what I'm saying? I swear to God, I will not make that up. That little motherfucker could fight. Mm. He 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 strong. I used to arm wrestle the nigga, right? And this was before I lifted, like really yeah. working out. Uh-huh. But in my spirit, I'm like, that is look, look, cut, this little nigga strong. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah, he always been who he say he is. And I made more money because I, I, and I'm, and I'm a real true athlete. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, I was, I played basketball, football, track and field, gymnastics, like boxing. Like, nigga, I'm multi gifted when it comes to sports. You did gymnastics? Hell yeah! I mean, every nigga in the project. And you was a gangster? No, they flip. We flip on mattresses. Flip on mattresses. That's okay, how we start flipping. We so you don't understand. Wall, you don't understand. Flip off the mattress. We flip off the wall. Flip off the. Mattresses. I broke my arm uh, yeah. bro, flipping off mattresses. When I think about gymnastics, I'm thinking that you at school doing <laughs> no, gymnastics. No, no, no. Like, the only reason I didn't do it in school because I. I didn't want to wear them tight ass clothes. Right. Trying to give me like that, like, man, that shit. Because I'm like, you, so, you grew up gangster. Do you really, you really think did this? What was dope about Cat Williams for me was the nigga is funny as hell, right? <laughs> but the funniest part to me was this nigga said he could run a four something, right? But I, then the nigga left there mm-hmm. and went and ran the goddamn. I, I, I wouldn't give a damn if I he ran it or not. Listen, yeah. the first nigga he beat, look, I was running like four, five, four, I was fast. Mm-hmm. The nigga beat me relatively easy. What? Uh-huh. top of my game. So here's the thing. <laughs> this when I knew he was fast. I was also a hustler too. I said, damn. I knew they went paying us that much money to do shows. So when Cat get on stage, I had to get off stage. I say, hey, y'all know, I host. I be like, you know that nigga fast too. I give anybody out here who think they can beat him, we can race for any amount of money y'all want. And I swear to God, as God is my witness, at the Hop in Lakewood, every Wednesday night, after the comedy show, we'd go to the back of the parking lot, and we'd line niggas up, and me and Kat would race them niggas, and I swear to God, we never left that comedy club with under $2,000. What year was this? Racing them niggas. What out. year was this? This was some shit. What year On their ass. Yeah, this was uh, this was in shit. The early two thousands. Okay, because I was Fans. about to say where the footage at. Yeah, we no, got they it. Have they like have that. They phones like that, then. But man, I'm t- I swear to God, I said this look. And I said you knew that nigga was fast. I swear he was man, that motherfucker. Was, he beats you every time. I was fast as mother. He had to beat me a lot. I, 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 <laughs> you knew already. Let that nigga go. Gonna, listen, homie, you ain't got. You, you only got to beat me nigga, once or but twice. But the nigga left and ran it, man. That's why I knew. I said this nigga the truth. He man, didn't only say it. I will. He went and. Ran it over. Mm. Man, right now, it's, it's it's not two niggas in comedy can fuck with us telling jokes. I, none of these niggas can't fuck with me. But I'm saying that out of content. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Remember, you know, uh, a lot of niggas, you know, especially when you come to this comedy shit, you look at a lot of niggas, fame don't make you funny. That's real. And just because people fun, just because people laughing don't mean you funny. You wow. know what I'm saying? It's different break levels that down. to this break funny that down. shit. You see what I'm saying? Break that down. See, just because people laughing don't mean you funny. You know what I'm saying? Everybody funny until you put a mic in your hand. That's you know? Real. And what fuck you up with the, f- or the reason a lot of niggas is not funny think they funny is because marketing you can buy. So if you can buy marketing, you can buy fame. You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So just because the numbers, the numbers, see money and money You know what the definition of money is? A beautiful lie. You know what the definition of a beautiful lie is? A money. So if you put them together, that's a beautiful lie. So Mm -hmm. if that's a beautiful lie, that means the raw truth make you a hater. Damn. Because a beautiful lie, everybody want that beautiful lie. I want that bag too. So you have a tendency to favor the nigga that's telling the beautiful lie. You see what I'm saying? That's kind of deep, right? Mm -hmm. So if I say somebody, hypothetically, let's just say, not saying Tyler Perry, but let's just say, oh, Tyler Perry shit is trash. You know what he gonna do? He gonna pull up that bag and say, yeah, but they got got 250. I'm bread it up. I'm bread it up. And then that beautiful lie gonna hide the facts. But just because I see you got the hundred and forty million dollars, that don't mean your content ain't trash. You know what I'm but saying? But they still, because of the money, gonna call you a what? A hater. Because nobody wanna nobody wants you to tell the raw truth because if you tell the raw truth, you f up the church's money. 
Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.